Hey guys, this is Garner the Young and I'm Vijay back with a new video. Today we are going to see about lace bugs and also how to control it and prevent it in this video. These are sap sucking insects which means that they drink the juices inside the plant, the nutritional value inside the plant and feed on them. They make your plant extremely bad in condition. You can see here how the plant looks completely destroyed but it is still alive. We can't revive it. It was like this before but now you can see how it is and there aren't any flowers nor fruits. So you can see here this is the identification. They grow like fungus and, and they make black spots on the leaves like these wherever they uh, suck those places become black like this so this is the identification and these are the young ones this is how they look in younger stage the gray color ones and when they become old they look like this if possible I'll put a picture you can see it is moving let me talk about how to prevent it because always pre prevention is better than cure. These kind of sap sucking insects are very hard to control with natural and organic pesticides. In general, the common pesticides won't be as effective on these kind of pests. So prevention is the best option. You have to check your plant on a regular basis. That's what is the best solution. You have to check your leaves in close up and on the bottom side as well to check whether there is any eggs on your plant of any kind of insect. The next thing is if you find it very less on your plant not as in mind then like this only if one or two exist then you can just remove it with your hand you can crush it and throw it away from your garden. Use gloves if you feel awkward that's not going to do anything but you have to do this. Or if only one leaf has such problem then remove that leaf and discard it away from your garden. You can also burn it or throw it in dustbin but don't keep it in your garden. And spray your plants neem oil on a regular basis. You can use any kind of pungent oils like eucalyptus oil, peppermint oil, clove oil etc. Just 2 to 3 ml in a liter of water and spray that. In weekly once or at least 15 days once you have to spray these kind of solutions and check whether your plants have any insects then and there every day or at least weekly once Next, let's see about the treatment so the first step in treatment as well is the removal if you have such problem in excess then cut off the branches or the leaves which have been affected too much I, I want to cut it off till the base so you can see here I have took all the leaves major affected branches as well and I have collected here you should not use it in your compost you have to throw it away from your garden or you can burn it or you can throw it in dustbin wherever you want but don't have it in your garden or in your compost pile so for curing I'm going to spray neem oil solution. This is 5 ml in a liter of water solution. This would be good for treatment. And you can also use eucalyptus oil or anything. You can add soap nut solution that soapy water made from soap nut which is organic can be used with it for the mixture of oil with water. But I'm not using anything. Just oil and water. Completely drench on your plants, branches, flowers, fruits or stem, whatever part is it and underside as well as the top side of the leaf. And check for it again, there might be one or two left on your plants so it might again form a colony, we don't know. So check it again every day so that you will find one or two on your plants then remove it as well. And one more step of prevention is that you have to move your plant which is affected 
away from other plants. If you have a grow bag full of affected plant, then move it away from the garden, out of the garden, near your stairs or some. This will prevent the spread of the in insects on other plants as well. There are two more things I would suggest you to do if you have them. If you don't want to prune your plant and do a more technical work, then you can use acetamiprid, an uh, organic pesticide. Uh, there will be mentioning of the usage and everything in that product's packet itself. So check and uh, use it. That would be a good option because each brand might have different concentration of that uh, pesticide. It, it might be a little bit costly, but it works amazingly. So you can use that or you can use a bio pesticide, which is Bavaria bassiana. So it, might, it must be used for two to three, three days continuously, but acetamiprid just one application for this thing, Bavaria, it is a bio pesticide. So you have to use it uh, one to three days continuously then only you can see a difference. It, the micro Bavaria bassiana will kill this insect by uh, engulfing it. It will grow on it and eat it and kill it. So that's how it works. It is a parasite for that insect. I'll soon make a video on those products uh, on how to use it and its real values etc. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe.